Okay, web hosting companies, I'm sure you've seen this before, offer to register your website's domain name for free, for free in air quotes here, as a convenience for you. That's how it's presented. But really, they're doing this as an add-on, as an upsell, as a way for them to make more money and give you less control over your business website. Now, first off, it makes sense that these two services are bundled together. Call it the would you like fries with that marketing tactic. So many web hosting companies are also domain name registrars and they can register your domain name for you. And they advertise this again, as I say, as a, a convenience for you. And maybe from your perspective, it seems as if this makes setting up your website dead easy. Everything's going to happen simultaneously with one single vendor and all the technical stuff is going to be handled for you. And there certainly is convenience here for you. And so your domain name and your web hosting will be handled under a single account with a single vendor. So everything's in one spot. And like I say, this makes things less complicated for you to manage. And should anything ever come up, your web hosting company support staff will have access to all your data and all your settings and all your info. But, and you've been waiting for this but, right? There's a big hang up here. While all of this might sound great, while all of this might sound super convenient and easy and all that stuff, know this. Know that registering your business's domain name with your web hosting company, whoever you choose to go with, really isn't recommended. Let me explain here. Here's how it works. We have two completely separate services. You've got your domain name and you've got your web hosting. So you want to register your domain name and you need to rent a space online to place your website, right? Now you can purchase both of these services together, which is again, what most web hosting companies are offering to you, or you can purchase them separately. So what I'm talking about here is you would register your domain name with one service provider, with one vendor, and you would set up your web hosting with a completely separate vendor. For instance, you can register your domain name with a domain name registrar like Namecheap, that would be sort of like step one. And then step two, you would set up your web hosting with a web hosting provider, maybe like web hosting hub, for instance, and then connect the two together. No matter which vendors you decide to go with in terms of your domain name registrar and your web hosting, how it would work is your domain name would then point to your web hosting space and you would pay usually annually a fee for both of these services. Now, how to actually set this up, and by the way, this setup, I know it might sound a little bit more complicated, a little bit more involved, but the extra effort is worth it because it puts you in complete control of your business website. Now, the actual steps to do this go beyond the scope of this short video, but what I'll do is I'll leave some helpful links in the show notes below where you can learn more about this stuff if you like. But you might be sitting there thinking that, you know, if a particular web host is offering a free domain name when you sign up, well, why not take them up on that offer? Why not go for it? Well, here's one big reason. While a web hosting company might offer a free domain, you got to read the fine print. No one ever reads the terms of service, right? Usually a free domain name is only free for the first year. After that first year, you're going to have to pay that annual fee. And usually that annual fee is higher than going with a separate domain name registrar. So cost is one big reason. Honestly, going with a free domain might save you 10 or $15. So in the long run, it's really not that big a deal. I mean, web hosts are always hyping free domains. Really, they're saying, hey, I'll give you 10 bucks and take away all your control. That's really what they're saying. There's a whole host of other reasons why it's important to separate your key website services Again, really, it's all about giving you control and ownership and autonomy online. Okay, now here's what to do next. If you're enjoying this kind of content, if you're ready to take the next big steps forward, then 
pop open a new browser tab. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash web and enroll in your free business website masterclass. This is a self-paced online course that contains loads of clear, deep insights to help you get your online business website set up and structured correctly the right way the first time to again, give you complete control, autonomy, and ownership over your business online. I know you're gonna love it. So grab a notepad, top up your coffee or whatever other beverage you're enjoying on your side, and I'll see you there in just a minute.